Webflow also offers us some search functionality and we can use search element to do that. If we go to add section and if you scroll down to advanced section, you can see we have one element called search. If I drag and drop this element here, you can see we have a title, we have a search bar or the input bar or and we have a button. If we double click on this input button, we have two options. One is placeholder that we can put any placeholder text here. And insert here we can say, or maybe I'm wrong. So we can also change the autofocus mode from uh, turning on to turning off, okay. And uh, let's change the color of the title. For example, if I go to style here, and for the titles, uh, I can change it to maybe kind of like a blue, okay. When you add the search element, it's going to create a new dynamic page for you. Let's first go to that page and understand what happens. If we go to the pages section here, and under the utility pages, we'll have a new page here. Previously, it wasn't there. It is created automatically right now when we added this search element. If we click on this search page, you can see we have some, it says search results. So we have some search results here. Whenever anybody is going to search anything into that specific search bar, after you click the search button, it's going to take you here to the search result page where you can see all the results here. Of course, you can edit all the styles and all the CSS. You can change the color here. You can style these specific links also with CSS. We are not going to do that right now, but this is just to show you that Webflow also have a search functionality. Search functionality cannot be used without CMS or without upgrading your profile plan. For example, if we go to the settings and then we click on the search setting, you can see here it says, once you set up your CMS or business hosting, Webflow automatically indexes the content of your published site to create an up-to-date search index. It specifically needs some upgraded plan. Right now we are on a free plan. So if you're working for your client, or if you want to deliver this website to anybody, you have to make sure first before adding search functionality to your website, you need to upgrade your accounts plan or your hosting plan to enable this functionality and test it. So that's it for this video. See you in the next video.